Alright guys, back again today for another review. And today we're reviewing Tom Clancy's End War. It is a browser and semi-download type uh, game. It's very much designed like Command & Conquer Tiberium um, Online. Which was basically a PvP game and a PvE game. This here also is a type of game that you can command your units, you can upgrade your units and do all the usual kind of stuff that you would see in titles like Command and Conquer and basically as well when you're offline certain units that you've upgraded and done will defend your base when you're offline. You can obviously rank up, you can use gold which is up at the top at the minute and you can use that for um, basically crafting and buying and upgrading. As you can tell I've done some of the chapters already so I have and I'm on to chapter 2. I can uh, show you a quick preview from doing chapter 1 for instance to show you um, really what the uh, game is about. So basically these are your units. To start you only start off with three. I've managed to get a whole load. Basically you get certain commanders which is certain ones here that I've uh, managed to get. It's times six is how many units of them that you get and obviously the top bit is their perk. So we'll start anyway and show you where it is. The only fault I have is every time you start the game for a different map, it downloads that map even though you already have that map. So th that's one fault I have but I'm sure it will be fixed in the upcoming um, pre-release. Basically this is uh, me now deploying at the air and since I sent my men to this building basically he's going to capture this building just like Command and Conquer. It's very straightforward, very reasonable you can also use your perks which is up here so when a man gets stronger I can use the perks and it will basically blow the crap out of anything that comes towards him I'm going to send uh, my man up the door take that up link as well and, uh, I don't think I need to do any more I just need to launch a couple of them at the airs. But basically you can see and you can actually move up the map and you don't really need to stay at your base. You can just keep clicking on the the lines basically. Like I want tanks to come up here in the bottom. And obviously then you'll reach the very end of the uh perk which is to destroy their main base. As you can see I'm literally getting up there already. These guys aren't really getting that far on me. You know, kinda getting destroyed here because you know, I've got literally units upon units upon units coming up and this guy hasn't really got a chance at the moment so and I've captured both points so everything's really tidy and done and literally at the moment I'm just destroying this base so this base is about to get completely uh, fucked up to say the least so. And there you go. And that just shows you how easy it was. Obviously it loads a wee video. There is sound but you can't at the minute adjust the sound. The FPS is locked as you can see in the top left. It's locked around 30 and 32 FPS. I don't know why that is. It's trying to say that the game will only render between 30 and 32. It's almost like there's a cap on it. I think if they made the game 60 it would go a hell of a lot easier. So do so. But apart from that, like everything there seems to be going pretty good. The game seems to be uh, kind of all right haven't came to a point yet in the game where I've really struggled playing 
the minute seems to be pretty good. There is a world, so you can fight everybody across the world. Basically, you just click on the battle section, and this is your world. Eventually, most of these places will be unlocked, and you can basically play versus play.